Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday. I hope you have a ha happy weekend. And uh, I will introduce uh, how to plot the volcano plot, okay? And uh, then perform the geo analysis, geontology analysis with Python. So uh, this is a very uh, commonly used uh, uh, pipeline to do the analysis. When you have RNA seq data, CRISPR screen data, uh, mass spectrum data, etc., right? And you have a gene list and a score, uh, in case either log four change or this score or uh, depletion or enrichment score, etc. And you have uh, uh, p values, uh, which indicate the significance of these scores. And then you can plot this. Uh, um, you can plot this. Uh, um, volcano plot with uh, access, access uh, with the uh, score, um, differential uh, scores, okay? Um, while Y access is often uh, usually the log uh, transfer the uh, p value, and uh, so it's like a volcano, and uh, you, you will get the upregulated genes on this uh, uh, right corner, right upper corner, and uh, the depletion or downregulate gene on this uh, left upper co corner, okay? And uh, then we, you get this uh, uh, downregulate gene list and upregulate gene list. You can do a gene ontology analysis to see uh, whether there are some uh, import, important uh, uh, biological process or pathway or molecular function gene uh, set enriched in this uh, 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 up or down regulate gene sets. Okay, you can plot this uh, bar plot. And uh, uh, today I will show you how to perform this uh, uh, with uh, a Python package called the Geo Tool. Okay, and let's uh, let's start. Okay, first uh, you will need to install the Go Tool. Just to uh, pp install it okay very easy and uh, okay then you need to download some uh, geo uh, ontology terms and uh, associations between these terms and the gene ids okay um, just uh, import these uh, four um, packages and do the download and read this uh, geo basic uh, dot obo okay we will get these uh, uh, files. So all these files will be in your uh, local directory. Okay, you can see geo uh, gene to go and geo basics obu. And uh, next step is to uh, read this uh, gene to go uh, file and store it in a list of lambda tuples. So just uh, use this uh, function. And you need to input the text ID. So this is really um, I'm using the human, so if you like uh, use other uh, species, then you need to change this uh, ID, okay? So there's another uh, important step here. So you need to download the background genes from the NCBI uh, website. And uh, uh, let me show you how to do it. Um, just open a new browser window new window on the browser and uh, put this uh, uh, input this uh, web address and query the NCBI gene so you need to uh, copy this uh, uh, sentence okay this is the way you search for the uh, all the protein coding genes in a human okay if you need another uh, species just change this uh, text ID okay so here we get uh, this uh, 220,000 uh, 600 uh, uh, protein coding genes in human genome. So what you need to do is send send the file to the uh, text, okay, and create file. So this will allow you to download a, a, a table file called uh, gene result text, okay. This may take a few uh, 
one or two minutes. So I already downloaded it um, on my uh, computer. So I stop it. And uh, you will find it in your downloaded uh, um, your download folder. So usually it's in your download folder. And this uh, file, right? So we, uh, we need to move this file onto the uh, current uh, working directory and then use uh, uh, this uh, module called uh, ncpi gene result to python.py uh, so you need to find this uh, usually it's under the bind and the bin uh, uh, directory under the anaconda uh, folder so and uh, then you, you input the gene result text and output uh, this uh, gene ncpi human protein coding.py okay And uh, after you're doing this, you will uh, generate this uh, Python module. So it's a protein coding gene name module. And uh, you just uh, um, uh, import uh, from this uh, module, you import this gene ID to NT. Uh, okay. And then uh, next, so all these steps should be done if you if it's your first time doing this uh, geo analysis. So uh, next time you want to do the uh, geo analysis, you you don't need to uh, do to download these files and uh, because you're already in your uh, directory. So, uh, but if you uh, perform this geo analysis on another uh, folder, so you need to. Uh, either uh, download this file again or just uh, copy these files uh, move this file to your uh, to your working directory okay so this the uh, so the first time is a little bit uh, um, more work to do okay but once you have done it it, it will be uh, very easy for you to do next time and uh, just to initialize, uh, import this function. So it's a geo enrichment study NS. Then you do, uh, you initialize and input some uh, parameters. So these are the keys, okay, of this uh, uh, gene, protein coding gene, uh, human protein coding genes. And this is the gene ID and the geo associations. And this is the ontology uh, items. So these are all the files you generated in your previous steps and then you uh, you just uh, uh, use the default significance and default uh, multi hypothesis test method okay so with this uh, you did uh, another extra steps is to uh, get all the geo items include those appears multiple times so this is for the counting of uh, geos in your uh, in, your, in specific geo terms uh, in your gene list okay so you, this is help you to understand why this gene uh, geo uh, item is significantly enriched and then uh, last step is to you need to have a, a dictionary to map the gene symbol and gene IDs because uh, usually when you get a list of such genes is a, a human readable uh, gene symbol okay but uh, uh, for doing the geo analysis, you need a uh, gene ID. So you you try you map this uh, uh, symbol to the ID, and also you have reverse mapper uh, to map the IDs to back to the symbol. Because after doing the geo analysis, you want uh, you also want uh, uh, this gene to be uh, human readable. Okay, tables. So you map back. So. Uh, with this, uh, we define a geo analysis uh, uh, function and it inputs a gene list. So, whether it's up regulated gene list or down regulated gene list, uh, you map to the uh, gene ID and drawn uh, study with this uh, geo object. And uh, uh, if, if you, uh, you, there are many geo uh, items, you can just uh, keep the significant ones. I here said the FD, FDR smaller than 0 0.01 okay so you uh, you can write all the uh, geo term annotations into a data frame so we can go like uh, uh, DFGO okay return it 
So I think these are all the steps you need uh, to, uh, to build up your pipeline for your geo analysis. And then we can go to our uh, uh, data frame uh, of the experimental result. Okay. Here is my uh, PMT file DMSO differential text uh, data frame. So you can see uh, it has a gene and its uh, essentiality in PMD5 inhibition and uh, the DMSO inhibition. Okay, we have this goal to measure the differential essentiality in these two conditions. And we have a, a p-value to measure the reproducibility of this differential expression among different sgRNAs. So we use this z score and the p-value to draw this uh, to draw the uh, volcano plot. Okay, so the, just this table, and uh, uh, we can see uh, the y the x axis is the differential score, uh, it's PMD file uh, versus DMSO, and uh, the y axis is a log ten for uh, p-value. Okay, the, we first uh, uh, use a scatter plot. Uh, to plot all the uh, all the points in this data point data set, and then highlight the upregulated uh, ones. So it's uh, z score larger than uh, two and p value smaller than zero point zero five, and uh, the downregulated ones uh, with p value smaller than zero point zero five and uh, z score smaller than minus two. Okay. And you get these uh, blue dots here and the red dots here, and you can highlight some of them to uh, with uh, 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 plot annotation. Okay, annotate. Um, then uh, next step is uh, when we get these two groups of gene set, uh, gene list, we can uh, perform the geo analysis on these two set. Okay, for the up regulated ones, the gene up. Uh, list we just put the gene up list into the uh, geo analysis function we defined previously and get the geo uh, up uh, data frame okay so we can get these seven uh, up regulated uh, up regulated uh, gene geo term okay see and uh, um, similarly we can get the uh, down regulated gene list and do the uh, geo analysis, and we can get these five uh, geo uh, terms. Okay. With this, we can find uh, this uh, uh, histone H four methylation, and which is PMD one and PMD five. And uh, okay, this is uh, the major discoveries in our paper, and uh, it shows the PMD one and PMD five has synergistic effect. Okay. Okay, last one, last uh, piece is uh, to uh, plot this uh, upregulated geo and downregulated geo on a uh, bar plot, or some uh, you can you can use other uh, plots, but this is very commonly used. And uh, uh, also for the upregulated, we we can use the red one, and uh, for the down we can use blue one, which is uh, in corresponding to the uh, to this. Uh, um, Volcano okay, plot. Okay. This is a simple. You just use a bar, uh, H. So it's horizontal bar. It's not. It's not like a um, regular one. Um, you just set a, a y, correct uh, coordinates, uh, with uh, zero point one each step. Okay. Go up, and uh, you first. Uh, uh, Plot the the red one is up up one, and then you you set a uh, blue ones okay. And there's another trick uh little tricks here is usually the geo uh the geo terms some of them are very long some of them are very short so this make it uh not very good if you just use one line on for the labels. So you need to uh, use this uh, text wrap uh, package to make it uh, uh, wrap into multiple lines. If it's uh, uh, if it's um, uh, more than like uh, forty characters, um, so you just uh, wrap it. Okay, so it it will make it more um, readable. Like uh, 
So if it's too long and some of them too short, it's not a very beautiful figure. Okay. Then you 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 just uh, uh, save it, either with a PDF or PNG, so what you like, and all these uh, outputs will uh, save into your local uh, working directory. Um, here I got the geo analysis, um, the geo uh, plot and also the volcano plot. Volcano plot is very uh, high resolution figure and you just can be used directly used for your publication. Okay. Okay, I think that's a kind of uh, end of this video. I hope you find it uh, helpful for you to build up your own pipeline for the such analysis. I think it's very commonly used. Okay. Uh, if you have your own data, just try this process on your own uh, data either uh, uh, no matter it's RNA or CRISPR screens or mass spectrum and uh, if you don't have your own data right now you just try uh, with my uh, data set and uh, reproduce my uh, result with this uh, notebook I will put all these uh, learning materials and data sets in my uh, github so it's this direct uh, this uh, repository and uh, uh, you can see uh, I have already published uh, several tutorial videos with each uh, both Chinese and English and uh, uh, you can find what you need in this uh, content and uh, okay uh, so if you have any uh, questions or issues uh, don't uh, hesitate to contact me through email or through uh, uh, or just comment okay so if you like this uh, video just uh, press like button and uh, subscribe my channel for the uh, for my uh, updates okay uh, thank you I will see you next time happy weekend bye bye